Hi. Dear viewer watching this video. Before closing at the end of the video, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. Have a good time. Let's start. David Guetta and his perfect music career. Pierre David Guetta, French pronunciation, born the 7th of November 1967, is a French DJ, record producer and songwriter. He has sold over 9 million albums and 30 million singles worldwide. In 2011, Guetta was voted as the number one DJ in the DJ Mag Top 100 DJs poll. In 2013, Billboard crowned When Love Takes Over as the number one dance pop collaboration of all time. Born and raised in Paris, he released his first album, Just a Little More Love, in 2002. Later, he released Get a Blaster 2004, and Pop Life 2007. Guetta achieved mainstream success with his 2009 album One Love which included the hit singles, When Love Takes Over, Get An Over You, Sexy Bitch, and Memories, the first three of which reached number one in the United Kingdom. The 2011 follow-up album, Nothing But. The beat, continued this success, containing the hit singles, Wear Them Girls at, Little Bad Girl, Without You, Titanium, and, Turn Me On. He has been called the, Grandfather of EDM. Early life Pierre David Guetta was born in Paris, France. Guetta's father Pierre Guetta, was a Franco-Italian sociologist from a Moroccan Jewish family. His mother is of Belgian descent. Through his father, David Guetta is the younger half-brother of the prominent French journalist Bernard Guetta and of the Franco-Italian actress Natalie Guetta. Career 1984-2000, early work Guetta began to DJ at the Broad Club in Paris. He first played popular songs, and he discovered house music when he heard a Farley Jackmaster funk track on French radio in 1987. The next year, he began hosting his own club nights. In 1990, he released Nation Rap, a hip-hop collaboration with French rapper Sidney Dutte. In the mid-1990s Guetta played in clubs including Le Centrale, The Rex, Le Boy, and Foley's Pigal. Released in 1994 Guetta's second single, a collaboration with American house vocalist Robert Owens titled Up and Away, was a minor club hit. In 1994, Guetta became the manager of La Palace Nightclub and he continued to organize parties there and in other clubs, such as the Scream parties in Les Baines Douches. 2001-2003, Just a Little More Love in 2001, Guetta along with Joachim Garo founded Gum Productions, and in the same year Guetta's first hit single, Just a Little More Love, featuring American singer Chris Willis was released. Willis was vacationing in France when he met Guetta. Guetta's debut album Just a Little More Love was released in 2002 on Virgin Records and sold over 300,000 copies. The follow-up singles, Love Don't Let Me Go, People Come People Go, and Give Me Something, were released in 2002. Guetta released a compilation, F Asterisk CK Me I'm Famous, in 2003, named after his party in Ibiza. It included, Just For One Day, Heroes, a remix of David Bowie's song, Heroes. Later in his career, Guetta continued recording compilations under that title, 2004-2006, Get A Blaster Guetta's second album, Get A Blaster, was released in 2004. It released four singles, Money, and, Stay, featuring Chris Willis and, The World Is Mine, and, In Love With Myself, featuring J.D. Davis. In 2006 the Just A Little More Love single, Love Don't Let Me Go, was re-released as a mashup with the Tokadisco remix of Walking Away, by The Egg. The mashup single entitled, Love Don't Let Me Go, Walking Away, was charted higher than the original release of the song. 2007-2009, Pop Life in 2007, Guetta's third album Pop Life was released. The album was successful in the UK and Ireland as well as in mainland Europe. According to Emmy in 2010, the album has sold a total of 530,000 copies worldwide. The lead single, Love Is Gone, reached number one on the American Dance Chart and charted on the Billboard Hot 100. Delirious, featured the vocals of Tara McDonald who also co-wrote the record. The song was released as the album's fourth single on 31 January 2008. The song charted number 27 Austrian Singles Chart, number 17 Belgian, Flanders, Chart, number 2 Belgian, Wallonia, Singles Chart. 
Number 12 Dutch Singles Chart, Number 16 French Singles Chart, Number 16 Swiss Singles Chart, Number 36 Hungary Singles Chart, Number 29 Romanian Singles Chart, Number 51 Swedish Singles Chart. The remixes of the song, including mixes by Fred Rister, Mark Mysterio, Laid Back Luke, and Arno Kost and Norman Doré were released. A video clip for the song was filmed by Dennis Thibault in Montreal, featuring Geta and Tara McDonald, picturing an executive assistant throwing paint all over her boss's office. McDonald also sang and co-wrote You're Not Alone from this album. In 2009, he was placed third in the Top 100 DJs poll by DJ Magazine, and was elected Best House DJ by DJ Awards in 2008. Since April 2009, Geta had his own radio show on the internet radio station Route Musique on Saturday evening. The show was afterwards moved into Radio 538, being aired every Friday evening after Tiesto's Club Life. 2009-2010, One Love and International Breakthrough Geta's fourth studio album, One Love, was released in August 2009. Its first single, When Love Takes Over, which featured Kelly Rowland, peaked at number one on the UK singles chart and topped many other countries worldwide, selling over 5, 5 million copies worldwide. His second single from the album, Sexy Bitch, featuring Akon, became his second number one in the UK. One Love, featuring Estelle, Memories, featuring Kid Cudi and Gettin' Over You, featuring Chris Willis, Fergie and LMFAO followed. As of May 2011 the album had sold 3 million copies worldwide. Geta's fourth studio album One Love was nominated as Best Electronic Dance Album at the 52nd Annual Grammy Awards. His song, When Love Takes Over, featuring American R&B singer Kelly Rowland received two nominations, Best Dance Recording and Best Remixed Recording, Non-Classical, and won the latter. After conflicts over whether or not an album reissue should go ahead, One More Love was released on 29 November 2010. The first single, titled, Who's That Chick?, featuring Rihanna was released a few weeks prior. On 16 June 2009, the Black Eyed Peas released the Geta produced, I Got A Feeling, as their second single from their fifth studio album, The END. It became a worldwide hit topping the charts in 17 countries. It became the most downloaded song of all time in the United States with almost 7.5 million downloads and in the United Kingdom selling more than 1 million copies. He was nominated twice for his work with the Black Eyed Peas at the 52nd Grammy Awards, in the category Record of the Year for I Got a Feeling and Album of the Year for their album The END. In 2010, Geta co-wrote and produced Kelly Rowland's Commander from her third album Here I Am. It peaked at number one on Billboard's Hot Dance Club Songs chart in the United States, and reached top 10 positions in Belgium and the United Kingdom. Geta has also co-produced Forever and a Day, which was Kelly's next UK single from that album. Geta also produced the singles, A Cappella and Scream, for American singer-songwriter Kalisa's fifth studio album, Flesh Tone, released on 14 May 2010. A Cappella was released as the lead single on 23 February 2010 and topped the dance charts in the United Kingdom and United States. On 28 June 2010 American rapper Flo Rida released the single, Club Can't Handle Me featuring Geta. The song is included on the soundtrack album to the American 3D dance film Step Up 3D and Flo Rida's third studio album, Only One Flo, Part 1. 2011-2012, Nothing But The Beat and Jack Back Records get his fifth studio album, Nothing But The Beat was released on 26 August 2011. It was released as a double-disc album, one disc being vocal and the other being electronic. Geta was inspired by rock bands such as Kings of Leon and Coldplay to add rock influences to his dance productions. Where Them Girls At, featuring Flo Rida and Nicki Minaj, the first single off the album, was released worldwide on 2 May 2011. Little Bad Girl, with Tayo Cruz and Ludacris, was released as the second single on 28 June 2011. The third single, Without You, with Usher, was released on 27 September 2011. Geta has also released four promotional singles for Nothing But The Beat which were Titanium, with Sia, Lunar, with Afrojack, Night Of Your Life, with Jennifer Hudson, and The Alphabet. The album also features the hit singles, Sweat, with Snoop Dogg and Turn Me On, with Nicki Minaj.
Geta teamed up with Afrojack and Tara McDonald again to release Pandemonium on his FMIF Ibiza Mix 2011 compilation through Emmy Records. Geta also performed alongside Nicky Romero and Nervo at London's Alexandra Palace on 1 June 2012. A re-release of Nothing But The Beat, titled Nothing But The Beat 2.0, was released on 7 September 2012. The first single from the album, She Wolf, Falling To Pieces, which saw Geta collaborate with Sia yet again, was released in support of the album. The next single off Nothing But The Beat 2.0 was confirmed by Geta as Just One Last Time, which features vocals from Swedish duo Taped Rai. In Finland in Weekend Festival and he will be festival's headliner also for year 2013.15 March saw the third single release from Nothing But The Beat 2.0 entitled, Play Hard. The song features vocals from American singers Niyo and Akon. Nothing But The Beat is a feature-length biographical documentary about Geta's rise to fame, featuring many of his collaborators, including Kelly Rowland, Will.i.am and Snoop Dogg. It was financed by the energy drink, Burn, with whom Geta became a brand ambassador from 2011. Together with Burn, Geta also provided support and mentoring for the Burn-sponsored, Burn Studios Residency, program for up-and-coming DJs. Geta also wrote, produced, and featured on Rihanna's seventh studio album, Unapologetic, and acts as the support act for the European leg of her Diamonds World Tour. In 2012, Geta created a new record label known as Jack Back Records, where he intends to focus only on electronic music releases, compared to the dance pop productions he's most known for. The label is named after a project Geta started alongside Nicky Romero when they remixed the song, Wild Ones. The premiere release of the new label was, Metropolis, another one of his collaboration with Romero, which also became a track from Nothing But The Beat 2.0. The label also included releases from the likes of Daddy's Groove and other collaborators, as well as a two-track EP from production duo Spencer and Hill. All of the label's releases can be found on Beatport. 2013, Lovers on the Sun EP While on tour with Rihanna, he debuted his new track at Twickenham Stadium on 15 June 2013. Geta stated, Twickenham, I hope you like this new track, it's brand new and you're the first people in the world to hear it. The single, called Ain't A Party, was released on 8 July 2013. It is a collaboration between G-L-O-W-I-N-T-H-E-D-A-R-K and Harrison. Geta released the artwork for his new single on his Instagram profile on 19 June 2013. In September, Geta unveiled the music video for new track, One Voice, featuring indie singer Mickey Echo. It was released on 4 November as part of the UN's humanitarian campaign called The World Needs More. Geta co-wrote and produced the song, Fashion, on Lady Gaga's third studio album Art Pop. He also had songwriting and production contributions to Britney Spears' eighth studio album Britney Jean, on multiple tracks and instrumentation imitations. On 20 January 2014, Geta released, Shot Me Down, featuring American singer Skylar Grey. It is an adaption of the Cher song, Bang Bang, My Baby Shot Me Down. The song was co-produced by Giorgio Tuinfort. In February, Geta released a remix of Avicii's track, Addicted to You, on Beatport. Later that month, record label Cherry Tree hinted through a message on Twitter that English singer-songwriter Natalia Kills was in a studio in Stockholm, Sweden, along with Geta and Giorgio Tuinfort to record a new song. The trio was later joined by DJ Afrojack and Avicii. On 17 March 2014, he released Bad, a collaboration with Showtek and Vassi on Jack Back Records, and released his remix of Afrojack's single Ten Feet Tall on 15 April. Geta released Blast Off, with Kaz James on 14 June. It appeared on the four-track EP titled Lovers on the Sun he released later that month. The EP contains, Blast Off, Shot Me Down, Bad, and, Lovers on the Sun, featuring vocals from American singer Sam Martin. 2014-2016, Listen and UEFA Euro 2016 On 30 June 2014, Lovers on the Sun, saw official single release as the first single from Geta's sixth studio album, Listen. The second single from the album, Dangerous, also featuring Sam Martin, was released as the second single from the album on 5 October 2014. 
The album itself was released worldwide on the 21st of November 2014 through Big Beat Records and Atlantic Records with collaborations from prior favorites such as Sia, Afrojack, and Nicki Minaj as well as new collaborators like Ryan Tedder, BB Rexa, and The Script. The title track, Listen, featuring John Legend, was co-written by Geta and Austin Biss. On 20 February 2015, the third single from the album, What I Did For Love, featuring Emily Sande was issued. On 30 April 2015, the song was released as a special version featuring vocals from Japanese singer Naomi Amuro for her studio album Genic. In March 2015, Geta released the fourth single from Listen, entitled, Hey Mama. It features the vocals of Nicki Minaj and Bibi Rexa, and also features Afrojack. The single proved successful, reaching the top 10 in the UK and in the US. On June 22, 2015, Geta became the third artist to reach 2 billion streams on Spotify and released a remix of Hey Mama by Boaz Van De Beats to celebrate the occasion. On 27 November 2015, Geta re-released Listen As Listen again to promote the songs and then recent singles, Sun Goes Down, Pelican, The Death of EDM, Clap Your Hands, and a new version of Bang My Head, featuring Fetty Wap alongside Sia. In December 2015, UEFA announced that Geta would be the music ambassador for UEFA Euro 2016, with the official song for the tournament being This One's For You, featuring vocals from Swedish singer Zara Larsson. UEFA also announced that the song would be integrated throughout the tournament, including during the opening and closing sequences for every television match broadcast, and will also be performed by Geta at the opening ceremony and closing ceremony, as well as during a free concert at the Champ de Mars under the Eiffel Tower on 9 June. On 30 September 2016, Geta released a new single with Cedric Gervais and Chris Willis named, Would I Lie to You, on his label Jack Back Records. The song interpolates the vocals, lyrics of the 1992 Charles and Eddie hit, Would First Lie to You? 2017 present, 7 on 24 March 2017, Geta released, Light My Body Up. The single was Geta's fourth collaboration with American rapper Nicki Minaj and also featured fellow American rapper Lil Wayne. The following month, on 28 April, David Geta released his collaboration with Dutch DJ Afrojack entitled, Another Life. The song featured American singer-songwriter Esther Dean. On 9 June 2017, Geta's single To You, featuring Canadian pop singer Justin Bieber was released, this song was featured on World E and marked the top 200 in over 40 countries as well as certifying gold to multi-platinum in many European and Ocean countries. The end on the month saw Geta release a remix version of Versace on the Floor by Bruno Mars and served as the third single from Mars's highly successful album 24K Magic. During the summer, David Geta headlined Tomorrowland, providing a main stage performance for Night 3 on both weekends. In addition Geta was a guest during Martin Garrix's closing set, during which they debuted their yet-to-be-released single, So Far Away, which featured vocals from Jamie Scott and Ellie Goulding. David Guetta also had Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike join him on stage to premiere their new song, Complicated, which was released on the Friday of the festival's second weekend. During this time Guetta, Vegas, and Mike also performed the latter two's long-awaited single with W W, Crowd Control. On 3 November 2017, Guetta and Afrojack released their single, Dirty Sexy Money, featuring Charlie XCX and French Montana. This song is David Guetta's third single from his upcoming seventh studio album, which was released in 2018. He performed a live version of his new single at the NRJ Music Awards and the MTV Europe Music Awards. On 1 December 2017, Guetta released his long-awaited single, So Far Away, being released on Garrix's label STMPDRCRDS. The single version contained vocals from Jamie Scott and Romy. Daya. Ellie Goulding's vocals were cut from the song as her label was pushing back the release. That is the reason why the two DJs decided to replace her and use the vocals of Romy Daya. On 25 January 2018 Geta released a remix version of Sia's Helium along with Dutch DJ Afrojack. This marks Geta's and Sia's sixth collaboration. On 16 February 2018, David Guetta released his new song, Mad Love, together with Sean Paul and Becky G. A few months before the release Sean Paul reported that Shakira would be the singer of the song, but she has been replaced by Becky G. 
A week later, Guetta released his second collaboration with Martin Garrix and Dutch DJ Brooks entitled, Like I Do. Guetta's seventh collaboration with Sia, Flames, was released on the 22nd of March 2018. On the 29th of June 2018, Guetta announced in an interview with Billboard China that he was almost finished working on his seventh studio album and that it would be released after the summer of 2018. On the 23rd of August, Guetta confirmed the album's title as Seven and revealed its track list, including the singles To You, Like I Do, Flames, and Don't Leave Me Alone. The album also included the BB Rexa and J Balvin featured single, Say My Name. In December 2019, Guetta led a DJ set at an Avicii tribute concert where he previewed a previously unheard collaboration with Avicii, Giorgio Tuinfort and Afrojack. In Guetta's own words, he played the Before I Say Goodbye for the first and probably only time during the concert. It features British singer-songwriter Amanda Wilson.